Hello everybody, Rado King here, welcome back to another video on Dragon Ball Doka Battle. So today, I, you know, I sat down real quick and I thought to myself, man, Dokkan is just not doing these kind of particular things that we, we kind of want them to do. Uh, let me explain. Uh, I bring to you the top three things that Dokkan should do, you know. <laughs> I guess, uh, as you guys can see by the title of this video, is very important. Um, there are some things that Dokkan has not done or brought back or anything like that in this game that would be very, very nice to have, you know? <laughs> so let's go ahead and start with number one, I guess. You guys have seen the Dokkan events that you guys are seeing right there. Us as content creators, usually when we pull the unit, and everything like that um let's say oh we pulled the new unit which is the new goku oh my god okay i can't wait to do the showcase and it just so happens that you have to do this event you have to do this event 11 times <laughs> like for example the drop rate for these medals are seven when you do it at 25 stamina if you're like me, that I'm link leveling constantly, and you spend all your stamina, you might have to spend a stone for stamina for you to be able to try to get 11 of these, because 11 of those medals get you Dokkan Awaken, this this Goku, and this Peko, and this Tien, sorry. Therefore, you would need a total amount of 11, 112 medals for you to not only Dokkan Awaken Tien, but you to Dokkan Awaken this Goku. But not only that, the same thing happens for Piccolo. Like if you go over to Piccolo's Dokkan event, we pop it up over here, bam! This is what happens. We get this. 112 medals that you need to get to Dokkan Awaken these guys. That will be 224 medals that you need to obtain for you to try to Dokkan Awaken both of these guys. Like, all four of these units. And whenever we get celebrations like these ones, where we have to just, like, sit idle by, just grind the event over and over and over and over and over again until we get the full set amount of medals... Then we can dog and awaken them, train them up, do all the shebangs that we have to do, and bada beam bada boom. But this is all of the time. Like, look at this. Like, uh, Tien, uh, Kriti, dude, I'm mixing up my names. Yamcha's dog and event, you needed 112 to dog and awaken its side banner unit. Well, we go back. The same thing with Bardock. Bardock, you need 112 because the side banner unit also needs of those medals. So it's a little bit of a strenuous kind of work. So that we have to like, you know, constantly deep dive into these token events and we have to grind this at least 11 times for you to be able to get units to get Dokkan Awakened with their respective medals. While it is fine to, to farm them, they take 25 stamina to get the, the, the max amount of medals. And we have to do this 11 times. So uh, that is without the boost. I, I don't suggest anybody use boost on those kind of events. But if you do, then I, uh, however you play your game, you know. Uh, but... Basically getting seven of these every single time you do them. That, that's not great. That's not good. It doesn't help us at all. It just delays the amount of time that we have for us to be able to bring in these events. And there are a lot of these. That I, I don't remember. Actually, this one in particular. What is it? Three? Yeah, 147. You had three units that you had to dog and awaken. 147 medals so you have to farm this up for this guy for this guy and for ginyu <laughs> like 
What? I'm not planning to do this. What? Like, divide this by, by 7. Let me actually look this up on the calculator. So we divide 147 by 7. So you gotta do it 21 times. You gotta do this dog kind of in 21 times. And if you multiply that by the amount of stamina that you need, you need 525 stamina for you to be able to get these medals in one go. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Nobody's gonna do this in a simple run. Nobody's gonna go at it on a single run to Dokkan Awaken three units. Like, are you crazy? And that, that is the pain of this, but then you gotta do this so many times, waste so much stamina, and it takes super long to do, because guess what? You need seven medals. Uh, you need 77 medals for one unit and 35 for another. And you only get seven medals per token event. What I would suggest, increase the rate. Give us 14. Or make us bring bonus characters, considering the fact that on the information right here, it says that Goku from the Piccolo Jr. Saga deals increased damage and weakens Piccolo Jr.'s regeneration. Instead of having this, or maybe having this, add Goku from the Piccolo Jr. Saga increases the amount of medals or the drop rates for the medals that you get from this event. Huh? Do you, you guys think that is not a good idea? The same thing with Goku. If you guys go for Goku, it says that Piccolo Jr. deals increased damage. Add this, Piccolo Jr. increases the drop rate for these medals. Or doubles the rate for these medals. Like a boost. But have it for characters. The same thing that you guys do for the story events. The story events where they tell you use a specific category and the drop rates will have an increased boost rate. If you give us that throughout all of these Dokken events, where there's a theme surrounding it, that will be so much better. It'll help us out greatly. By the way, I came up with this idea just now. <laughs> that would be so good to have. Because what I thought was just increase the rates of the medals. You know, just, just instead of having seven medals per, per run, have 14 medals per run but that's actually a great idea like if, if piccolo jr deals increased damage have them increase the rates of the drop of the medals it's the same concept that you guys have for the story events if you guys go into the story event or any particular story event in general where there's an event that it says boost it and it and you take that team you go over to that event and it has the boosted characters you can have you can be easily just grinding this at a quicker fashion because the boosted rates are there. Dokkan, come on. Like, we do not want to continue, like, doing this 11 times. Like, we can play the game. We're going to constantly play the game. But for us as content creators, we do not want to do this 11 times, spend 25 stamina every single time. Like, it, it's painful, you know? Especially when these characters have multiple characters that we need to Dokkan Awaken. Like, 112 medals for these two. 147 for the Ginyu characters. Like, imagine, bro. Uh, that's my opinion, you know? That, that would actually be very nice. Since, you know, in the story events, they have drop rates or for boosted categories or boosted characters that you can use. Look for a theme. Let's say, for example... Oh, you need for for you to face Piccolo, uh, Ultimate Piccolo, you need to have the Gamas, and that'll give you a booster rate. Or for you to face this guy, uh, it would be kind of difficult because he's facing uh, what is it like a a one of the dudes that hated Android Eight, so it's gonna be a little bit tough. But for this guy, you face you bring a full Wicked Bloodline team. Or uh, for this guy, full of bring, uh, bring a full, full of bring, <laughs> dude. My brain is just dead. But anyways, you guys, you guys know what I'm saying, right? Like that would be a, an excellent idea for that, for them to bring into the table for those kind of events. The way that they can do this so much better, so we do not have to waste time doing this 11 times, or even beyond that, they can be able to do that. Boosted teams to face. 
on those kind of events. I feel like that would be a great idea. So, coming in at number two, I got the ECAs. Not these ones. The LR ones, I feel like they're okay. But I feel as though doing these ECAs, they're boring. And they take a pretty damn while. Not to mention, do you guys remember the 999 stages that we did on a stream? Yeah, we did that. We did the entirety of it on one single stream. And everybody enjoyed it. But we did that on one sitting and it took us about, what, 22 hours? <laughs> it took us 22 hours to complete 999 stages. Right over here, this took me an hour to do. Or like 45 minutes to do and it's boring it's so boring because you're just facing piccolo every single time what you guys need to do shorten this out just like the way that you do the lrs it's the same type of concept that you do here just 10 stages just put it like that increase the difficulty if you guys need to but please don't have us so strenuous and be like yeah we're gonna do this 30 times now you might say Damn, Rollican. Are you? Are, are we doing this because you're being lazy? Like, no. I, I, I feel like it would be more time efficient. Because, for example, like I said with the Dokkan events, if you bring a like a boosted character uh, mechanic, just the same way that you have on story events into Dokkan events, it would it would clear every single event much faster it will clear dokkan events much much faster of course you will not have the booster rates whenever you guys do showcases and stuff like that on dokkan event but because you're basically gonna do a different team but if you have that over here that will be that will be great and again shorten this uh these out but just 10 stages three medals per drop the same way that you have the lrs it's the same concept just have it you can increase the difficulty on this you can have it much more difficult and we will be fine that would shorten the 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 time that you have to do to grind all of these things up for example i was not able to put my showcase of piccolo much much later that video is doing okay but it would have been better if i dropped them right then and there but the ecas take a lot of time to do this so my suggestion do it the same way the LRs are being done. Ten stages. Three medals, uh, like three medals per drop at every single time. You guys can possibly be able to stack these medals. There are ways to do it. The same way that you guys do it with the easy areas or the super strike events. Do it the same way. And the missions, give us the medals as well. Because not a lot of people are going to stay grinding this forever. I know some people, some circle of friends of mine that have not done, like not done or completed ECAs because it takes so long. It takes pretty long time. So have it, have it be shortened up by ten stages. A group the the group up the number of medals that you can be able to drop per stage, up to stage ten, and increase the difficulty, and you will be golden with these ECAs, man. I feel like it would be much, much better. Last but not least, that Dokkan should do. You guys remember a, a, a roster of characters that are that lead typings of these characters? You know, the typing characters, you know? You know, characters like these guys. Like Super Saiyan Kaba, Hit. But they lead a certain typing. Key plus four, all stats 120%. You know, you know those guys? Yeah. Where are they? It's 2023. The last time they were here in the banner was in 2021. Where are they? <laughs> Here's a suggestion, Dokkan. I need these units. I have never pulled these units on their type banners. Why? Because nobody summoned on those, on those banners. Nobody. And recently, what you did when you brought those banners back that that's why i have all those tabs open by the way <laughs> the reason why they the banners were back is that you added them into the coin shop 
they were there you had to summon a lot though because you needed to have at least 300 or yeah 300 blue coins 300 blue coins those blue coins those same blue coins that nobody summons on those banners that are available with blue coins nobody summons for those unless it's the heroes banners and I feel as though that if they're put on the shop, a lot of people would save those coins for the heroes units, you know? <laughs> like nobody would, on their right mind, would summon on a blue coin banner just to save enough blue coins to exchange one of these units. And by the way, there's one per each, there's two per each typing. So basically speaking, you will have to have 3000 of those coins to get even one of these copies. 3,000? Yeah, 3,000. Because it's 300 per coin. So, like, what you should do, Dokkan, put them on the normal pool. Simple. Pull them on, put them on a normal pool banner. Or have that banner be available at all times. Because nobody summits on them. <laughs> I have never seen somebody summon on that banner except, you know, for people who do want to rainbow them or want to pull them. But I have never seen people summoning on typing banners. And right now, if you go check the campaigns that are going on right now, they're not up. Oh, this is... What, what is this? Damn. Check, check the campaign. This one. Those banners are not up. We do not have the, any of those banners up, man. We don't have those banners up, bro. Like, I don't know what, you, what you're doing. Like I said, if we go over to all the gotchas, can we get it? Yeah, let me check all the gotchas real quick. Uh, All gotchas. Type exclusive. Look at this. When have these guys came back on a... When, when has this banner come back on a banner? Like, when have they come back? 2020. 2020. Three years. It's been three years since these guys came... This banner came back. I believe they didn't have the introduction of the coin shop. Since they didn't have it. So this might be old, but I feel like in 2021, this banner came back. All of these banners came back and they never brought it back. All of, all of these banners right here, these these five, they, they brought them back because of the coin shop introduction and they put these guys all in the coin shop for you to be able to exchange them. They're not back. They haven't come back in a while. In a big, in two years. Two years, they have not come back. So what I would do, what I would suggest, either put these banners up the same way you have the typing days. Oh, the AGO character banner? Up every day. Uh, every Monday to Tuesday. Tuesday to Wednesday. Wednesday to Thursday. Thursday to Friday. Friday, uh, actually, no, wait, yeah. Um, Sunday to Monday. Monday to Tuesday. Tuesday to Wednesday. Wednesday to Thursday. Thursday to Friday. And take them away have these banners available you know i for one do want to use these guys i want to use them because they have not come out they've been out since 2020 but their banners they haven't been back they haven't been back in such a long while and it upsets me greatly because you know for showcases let's say i would need somebody to buff scr units i don't have this guy <laughs> So it would have been phenomenal to have these guys uh, available, but they have not come back on a banner since... Two I I want to say 2021, but it might be 2020 when they got their Dokken Awakenings. It's been so long. It's been so long. <laughs> so you can do one of these three things, Dokkan. Put these guys either on the unfeatured pool... Have their banners available per the day, for their typing days. You know, physical will be on Friday. And tech will be on Tuesday. Stuff like that. Or, bring them every single month. Bring these types of banners every single month. From this week to this week, the AGL banner is going to be available. Then, 
do that, but you gotta do that often. You did it in a couple of celebrations long back, and it was nice because a lot of people were able to summon for these characters. But, dude, they, they ha again, these guys have not been back on a banner in so long. It's surreal. I want to pull these guys. And I, I remember to myself, man, these typing units have not come back on a banner. I, I need these guys. If you're a whale and you summon for these guys, then maybe you have them, but I don't have them. I want to, I want to, I want to get them. I want to pull these guys. We're almost in June of 2023. And these guys, their Dokkan Awakenings came out three years ago. I haven't gotten a single character of these guys. Like, bring them back. Bring them back. I don't know what you guys are doing. So, that would be my top three things for, for Dokkan to do, you know? Let me know what you guys think. What kind of ideas do you guys think about what Dokkan should do and stuff like that? Yes, uh, I I want to say that I'm bored, but this is a type of video that I haven't seen yet. So let me know my suggestions down below if you guys have any. Like, what do you guys would say? What What do you guys would think would be the best solution for these guys to come back? For what did what could they do to fix the ECAs? How they can how can they make it shorter? How can they make the Dokkan events grind much shorter or much easier? You know, I, I'm just trying to you know get their quality of life stuff a little bit better. You know, so I appreciate you guys stopping by. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like and enjoy it again, please hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Matane.